Hey guys, I made a glam floor lamp. This is a requested video made by someone months ago. And the weird thing is another person sent the same picture just some weeks ago. And what a coincidence. This lamp is so pretty and this is what the picture that was sent to me looks like. And it goes for over $1,600. It's super expensive, but I really love the lamp because it's so pretty. So I said to myself, why not? Of course, I would love to recreate this gorgeous piece. So the first thing that I did was to take oval embroidery hoops. And I'm going to leave the link for this embroidery hoop down in the description box below. Now I took the full one and then I drew out the inner circle and the outer circle. I'm using a white foam board and then I carved out the shapes. I took the inner shape and then I traced out the push light that uses a remote in the middle. And then I randomly made dots around to where I want to put the beads. I took their embroidery hoop and then I got wooden dowels from Walmart. The measurements is going to be written somewhere by the side here. Now I got two of these dowels and then this is how I intend to glue them together to the embroidery hoop. Now I carved out a little hole using an exacto knife to make it easy to have a screw going through for a better hold. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I did that for both sides and then I took wood glue and I'm going to dab just a little bit of it at the inner corners of both sides. This is really tricky. You need to really exert a lot of pressure before you can get this done. And I didn't really like it because at the end of the day I had some cracks on the dowels. So I decided to just do this for the top and not for the bottom. Now for the bottom part, I carved out two shapes from the embroidery hoop size and then the other cut out, I made two holes that's going to be for the wooden dolls to go through and I glued both boards together and then I'm going to be inserting the wooden dowels inside. After doing this, I was happy with the result of course, but then it's not strong enough or well balanced on the floor. So to make it balanced, I took leftover rocks that I had from an old project and I glued on the stones or heavy rocks on top of it. Now this is just to make sure that the lamp holds firmly to the ground giving it much more balance and stability. Now I'm going to be using this white paint for the dowels and the embroidery hoop. Now let's move over to the beads. These are the beads and embellishments that I got from Walmart that I will be using for the project. And I will also be using garland beads. Now I'm going to be separating some of the beads from the garland strings to add with the other beads. I'm going to be using fishing lines to hold the beads together and then to separate the beads I'm going to be using crimp beads. I'm going to be starting off with one crimp bead and don't worry if the hole is wide enough. I'm going to be putting in the fishing line and I will use a plier to tighten it. And then at the other end I'm going to be putting in the beads. And I'm going to be having different arrangements for all of the designs that I'm going to be making with the beads.
The crimp beads really help a lot. It just helps in separating the beads. Now this is what it should look like. And like I said, I made different arrangements all through. And instead of using the crimp beads, you can also use a hot glue gun. A hot glue gun can actually do the same thing. You just put a little bit of glue at the tip here and then start off by putting your beads but well, you have to wait for the glue to dry of course and then you use the hot glue again to dab it on to separate one bead from the other and when you're going to be using if you're going to be using this process you have to be careful so you don't bring yourself I used the cream beads and also the hot glue gun method and I had different arrangements and I made 20 of these in total and I also made different lengths of the garland beads. Now for the garland beads, to make it easy for me to work with, I'm going to be cutting some of the fishing line and inserting it through the hole and make double knots and cut out one of the string like that. And then for this embellishment, I'm going to be tying the fishing line on one of the beads and cutting out one of the lines. This is the inner board that I cut out earlier and then I carved out holes on both sides for the wooden dowels. Now I'm going to be using a skewer to make holes on the dots that I made to make it easy for me to insert the beads. So now I'm going to be putting in the string through the hole from the inside and then on the back side I'm gonna hold it down with tape I'm gonna be doing this all around and then I'm using this technique because I just figured that I may want to change something so this is not permanent this is just to give me enough room to change any of the positionings of the beads whenever I like before I make it permanent. I put some labels on some holes just to make sure that I evenly distribute the garland beads from the beads that I made. The design that I'm working with has all of the beads with different lengths. So all the beads that I made have various lengths. All the lengths are not the same which makes it easy for me. So now that I'm sure of what I want, it's so pretty. So at the back, I'm going to be using a dab of glue to make it permanent. Now I'm going to be using remote controlled push lights. It comes with its own adhesive backing and I installed it in the middle. I'm going to be putting it from the top like this. And because the board that I cut just fits perfectly, it's really snug, which is what it should be. It should be snug. And to make it more firm, I'm gonna be going around with a strong adhesive and I'm using an E6000 glue. This is an office folder, a white office folder that I cut into strips. And then I took the board that I cut out using the measurements of the outer circumference of the embroidery hoop and I'm going to be gluing on the pieces onto the board and this is going to be for the top of the lamp. I then just glued it to the top. Now for the bottom part, I had to cover it up because the edges were rough. So I used silver sequins and I also had some glued at the top. Now this is going to be better if it was just white but I don't know, I just preferred silver. Now this is what the overall lamp looks like and I really love the way this turned out. Like I said earlier, the rocks is just to give it more stability when it's on the floor because you want your lamp to not just be pretty but also stable on the ground.
Let me know what you think about this lamp in the comment section below and remember to like and share. And also remember to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.